Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and in today's video I want to show you how to convert an old fluorescent fixture to a new LED type fixture. Now uh, what we did is we, we bought a kit and uh, it's going to convert what we have up here in this old style 8 foot bulb fluorescent light to what we have over here to 8 foot LED bulbs. And uh, this particular kit will eliminate the ballast uh, and uh, we'll be basically running the LED lights straight on 120 volt power. So in the kit it came, uh, came with uh, the bulbs obviously. I've just got them in this protect protective tube. Um, now these bulbs or this kit is all with this single pin on the end instead of the double pin which you might be more familiar with but this isn't that uncommon but the double pins are a little more prevalent in most areas. Uh, so that's, that's the type of bulb we're going to be putting in. Now our fixtures actually have the correct tombstones. The tombstones are these little uh, doohickeys that are up on the end, basically the sockets for the bulbs. They're on each end of the bulbs. Like I said, our particular fixtures have the correct tombstones in them, so we're not changing that part. This kit comes with a full set, so if you had uh, T12 or T8, uh, bulbs, you could convert your kit over your, your uh, fixture over to these bulbs using their uh, their supplied tombstones. We're not going to be using the tombstones, like I said, because our fixtures are already set up that way. But you will get them. Uh, something else that they'll have in the kit in this particular one is uh, these little clips. Now, because the LED bulbs are maybe a little more flexible, you know, I think they're. I'm not sure, but I think they're all plastic where you're going to have glass bulbs and your other that are probably a little more rigid. But these clips will go mid-span uh, just to hold the new bulbs in place and they just simply will screw into the cover that's on there. Uh, they come with a full basic wiring guide here. So uh, in our existing fixture, doesn't really matter how many bulbs you've got, but in the existing one you're going to have one or two ballasts. We're going to be cutting the wires off the ballast, removing the ballast altogether to be recycled. And uh, then we're, we're going to directly wire the tombstones to the, uh, to the in-house wiring and insert the bulbs. Okay, so it, it's laid out here pretty easily to understand. Um, in the video, we'll, if there's something you didn't understand in the instructions, we'll certainly be uh, more clear, I'm sure, in, in watching the video. Some basic tools we're going to need. Uh, probably need some wire cutters, side cutters, pliers, uh, some type of wire stripper. Um, you're going to need uh, likely a screwdriver of some sort to remove the cover once your old bulbs are out of the way and possibly a nut driver to remove your uh, ballast. And we've also got some uh, wire nuts here to uh, connect our wiring. Uh, safety glasses is a good idea at least initially until we get the old bulbs out of the way just in case you happen to break one. So I've got those. Um, yeah, that's about all we're going to need. So, so I'm going to get positioned up. Oh, you're going to need a ladder or two. Maybe even a pair of helping hands uh, if you're using doing eight foot fixtures like we are. Uh, these guys would have, this, was, would have similar kits for four foot lights. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll actually put a link in the description just below the video here. So if you want to find this exact kit that we used, they haven't sponsored us or anything, but uh, we will have a link down there to them. So uh, I think we'll just reposition the camera. I'll get a few things ready on the ladder and we'll get the old uh, bulbs and, and fixture open. Okay, so I've uh, removed one bulb and uh, I've just got one more to take out. Try to keep it here for a minute while I get this. And then there, there's gonna be a metal cover. Uh, depending on your fixture, it could just be something that needs to be squeezed. I better get rid of this bulb or I'm going to end up with it broken. Okay, as I was saying, so you're going to have, depending on your fixture, this is a per, just a wide open fixture, but if yours was, uh, you know, something more fancy, you might just have a cover in here that would squeeze and clip out. Uh, in our case, this cover comes off with a couple screws. I've already loosened the one down on that end. See, this one's right tight against the tombstone, so I can't slide it one way or the other from what I can see up here. There. 
Okay, so I'll just get rid of this cover. We will be putting it back on, but I don't need it for a few minutes. Okay, so we've got all the bulbs and the cover out of the way. Uh, now you can see our ballast. Uh, depending on your fixture, you might have one or two. Uh, we've got one large one in this case. And we've got a whole rat's nest of wires hanging down. That's pretty typical of what you're gonna find. Uh, but let's just uh, simplify this to start with. Uh, we're going to take and, and get rid of our ballast right now. So I'm going to cut these wires. Remember, we've got the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, make sure you've turned the power off right at the breaker. So there's no chance of getting electrocuted. Okay, so we'll just simply cut these off. Uh, I know there looks like a lot of wire here, but cut it fairly close to the ballast just so that you have as much as you you can deal with so you don't have to re hopefully run new wires. We'll cut these, let them hang down. Uh, a lot of times these are held in with a, you need a nut driver like I spoke of earlier. This one's been changed before and somebody's just put a wood screw in it. So I'm going to undo that. Usually there'll just be a screw or a nut or whatever on one end and the other end is just slipped into a little clip there so I'm going to pull that out and get it out of our way. Okay so the basic gist here is when we're converting over to these LED tubes that we have this is in our case just check your kit it'll explain exactly you know because there is different ways of doing this. Um, in my case I'm going to put all the neutral wires all the neutral source to one end and our uh, hot wires on the other end okay. So disregard the fact that these are blue and red wires. It really doesn't matter in this case. Um, for our intents and purposes, these are all white. I'm just trying to undo this goofy knot of wires they've got here so I can reach better. Okay, so I need to strip some of the insulation off each end here so that we can wire nut this and extend it to those other wires there. <clears throat> okay, so I've stripped those off. I just got to hang them here where I can reach them. And what I need from this other end, these are actually the neutral and the hot wires that we're going to the ballast from hook to the supply. So like I said, I'm going to put neutral down at this far end. So I just need the white wire neutral. Like so. And because we want both these tombstones uh, to be neutral, there's one of these wires each is just running to that tombstone. So that makes it easy for us here. Just give those a little twist and then we'll put a wire nut on that. And then we're basically done, done with that end. And it doesn't matter which end you make neutral and which end you make the hot side. You just need to uh, separate the two. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to slide my ladder over, get rid of what I don't need up here, and then we'll deal with the uh, hot wires on this other end. All right, so down at this end, and sometimes this is going to be a little different from light to light. Um, I don't know if you can see in, in the old situation, this tombstone has the neutral wires going to it. This one has the hot wires going to it. In our new situation, these are both going to be hot. Okay. So I need to disconnect any of these neutral wires from the old neutral connection so that we don't have sparks. I'm just going to cut that right off. Okay, so in our case, we've got supply wires coming in and then there's some supplies going out. Uh, I don't know if it's to another light or another switch or what it is. So we've got two actual neutral wires. I'm just trying to get these straightened out here. Those are our two actual neutral feed wires right there. This wire and actually this one. Or 
are now going to become hot wires. I'm just going to put them out of the way right here. Here's our neutral. It's going all the way down to that other end. Actually, I probably got enough length. I can get rid of this little short piece that's on here. I'll just cut it off and strip it again. We've got enough wire to reach, so I just got rid of that. Less joints, the better. Okay, so that's that. We want to hook that, those two tombstones, to the actual neutrals, which are these ones here. So I'm going to strip those. We can finally have the neutrals all cleared away. Okay, so I the the stripper there was able to cut the insulation, but it doesn't want to slide off the end of the wire. And sometimes you come across that. So what you've got to do is actually take a knife and cut that insulation and so you can strip it off of there. It's really on there, this stuff. Holy Moses. Okay, the other one, I'm just going to try these kind of automatic strippers to see if they will actually do it. Yeah, and they pulled it off just beautifully. Should have used those the first time. I'll keep those up here where I can reach them. Okay, so back to these neutrals. So we can finally tie all the neutrals together. Come on. Kind of got fumble fingers today. So I think you can see that. I'm just giving them a bit of a twist to get them all connected. Like so. Oh, come on. And I can stick a wire nut on there. And voila, we finally have our neutrals out of the way. We're just going to fold that up and get it more out of the way for us. Okay, now we're back to our, our hot wires. This extra switch in here isn't helping things for you guys. It's probably making it more confusing than it needs to be. So these are the two wires that originally were going to this tombstone. I'm going to strip those, but I'm also going to designate them with some black tape. So if anybody's in here <coughs> messing around again, they know that we have basically converted those and they are hot wires. So I'm going to do that right now so I don't forget. Okay, so that's that. I'll try our fancy dancy automatic strippers here. That worked good. Okay, so we've got those stripped. Um, we can get rid of this extra length of wire here that was on the original setup. And I can shorten it right up. I'll get rid of that. Okay, so those are all going to go together. Um, this little black that I just shortened and uh, stripped is going to this tombstone here. And in our case, we've got this switch in here. This end we don't need because it's, it's powering this switch up. This is the end coming from the switch that we need. Sorry for the confusion. Normally, if you didn't have a switch, you'd be just connecting them all, them all to that location. I'm going to strip this because somebody barely stripped enough off of this one. And same thing with this one coming from the actual dummy switch in here. Hopefully you can hear me, our heater just cut in, so. Okay, so all these blacks can get hooked together. 
probably can't see because I've got so much stuff hanging in the way here. These two get in there. So many different wires here. Okay, I gotta cut and strip these per Okay, we finally got all that together. I just wanted to get a little, get the camera up here with a little closer shot so that uh, we can clarify this once and for all. So simply being the uh, neutral wires that were coming into the fixture are simply hooked and go all the way to the other end. And there's a wire going to each tombstone. So we got neutral down there. At this end, both of these tombstones are going to be hot tombstones. So they are these four wires, two, two here that we've designated black and two here that are black. They all came up right here and hooked to the positive coming out of, in our case, the switch. But we've got all the hots together and all the neutrals together. Okay, I just wanted to get a little closer shot at that so that it wasn't quite so confusing anymore, hopefully. Now, these wires are going to tuck out of the way. I'm going to tuck these wires all up out of the way. So when we put that cover on, we're not hopefully pinching anything. We've added a zip tie down part way down there just to help hold those up a bit. And uh, we'll get the cover back on. Okay, so uh, cameraman had a good idea. Uh, why not stick a bulb in? Just we turned the power back on now. Stick a bulb in before we get that cover all back in place just to uh, check that everything is working correctly. I'm just kind of supporting this bulb in the middle. I don't want it to sag too much. Uh, so you can see, we'll check both sockets just to be sure. Both sets of tombstones, I mean. So, okay, so now we've confirmed that that all works. I'm gonna get the cover back on. Okay, so we've got the cover back in. We marked our center spot for these little uh, supports. We've put one of them in. I'm going to put this other one over here. And uh, basically it's just mid-span of the tube. It's not rocket science is exactly where you need to put it. Come on. Okay. And you'll notice on uh, pretty much, I think, all LED tubes, you're going to have a surface that needs to be pointed down, obviously, to let the light down. The other side's going to be metal or aluminum, uh, some type of reflective surface. So you'll know right away if you've got it in the wrong way. A little tricky to get the bulb to start in there around the clip. Right there, like that pointing down like I said really I guess they're they're directional basically so if you wanted to cast more light that way you could rotate your light whatever you want to do in this case we're just putting them straight down okay so I'll just step down a little bit here uh, hopefully the glare from our new LED lights is not too bright good thing I've got my hat on or you'd be blinded um, Hopefully that was as clear as it could be. I know we ran into a little difficulty up on this end. Hopefully we, we got that cleared up with you uh, with the little closer in shot. Um, as I stated before, there's, there's a lot of different types of kits and ways to convert the old fluorescent uh, bulbs or fixtures, I should say, over to LED. Um, I know we do have one system already. There's another video up where we reused the uh, ballast that was in the light to run those particular type of bulbs. So uh, I guess the big thing here is just to be sure you've got the proper bulbs for the setup you have because some need the ballast, some don't. Some have different tombstones. Sometimes you might be able to use the ones you have. Um, there's probably at least one more of these types of videos that we'll try to put up. Uh, that gets into shunted tombstones and non-shunted tombstones, which is a whole other ball of wax, but we'll try to get that video up as well. Okay, so I'm going to just wrap things up for now. Uh, click the thumbs up button below if you liked it. 
Uh, that helps us out quite a bit. Um, as always, you can check out our Patreon page if you feel like you want to give us a little bit of a donation. And, uh, or just check it out. Maybe you don't even know what Patreon is. So we'll put links below in the description, like I said, for this kit and for Patreon and all our other usual stuff that we have. Thanks a lot for watching.